trying to learn something new. Like how the hell I'm in the same boat as me and my crew. Cause back when, when Biggie wrote me and my boo, I mean me and my bitch, a common sense bitch and you, between Power Rangers and Power Wheels, this was the noose. That's hanging a whole generation of niggas in youth. Can't even listen to my mom, why should I listen to you? There ain't gonna be no open arms when a chick in the soup. Was told I'd be a junkie and homeless, I'm living it through. Was told I'd be going to hell since I've been missing the tooth. <laughs> my mama and grandparents I've been listening to. 20 years later, they think I'm still missing some screws, but fuck it. I done cried decades, I got buckets. Might laugh, but I'm bluffing. My ass ain't got nothing. They lost loved ones in the path that I'm touching. And got my heart broken so bad it got crutches. Bitch, goddamn right I'm mad, I'm not fucking. I would love stunting your ass. I like money, but you wouldn't get a crumb off my cast. It's like mummies and death. A generation in debt, just like mummies. <laughs> Tired of putting plans to hold for plans that don't stick. Cause life goes on and plans ain't on shit. It's the difference between a man that's paying his own sense to society. These niggas paid with no sense. I got too much to offer to play at the broke bench like a motherfucking coward. I'm saying I won't sit. <laughs> I'm saying I won't sit. Fuck as you said. Boy, I get it how I gotta get. Get dropped if you got a hit. Niggas know I come through on a lot of shit. It's deep bizzle, boy. So how I sizzle, boy? Y'all niggas fruity than Skittles. I'm trying to... With the, with the glitter, boy. I'm gonna stop playing, man. Let me get to this reading. G, A. Bent. Before I get this message out, spread almost done. Bent. All right? It's some shit you gotta... Hey, going into the new year. If it's some shit you gotta get off your chest, get that shit off your chest. There's some secrets that, come, that gotta come out. Let them bitches out. You know what I'm saying? Flow free. It's 220, Joe. Hey. This ain't the year for motherfuckers to be hiding who the fuck they are inside, man. Don't you know, if you don't let the, whoever the fuck you are, you know what I'm saying, inside, out, you know what I mean? You know how many people, oh my God, you know how many people want your testimony? You know what I'm saying? You know how many people need your story? You know what I'm saying? You know how many motherfuckers in the boat? Just like your ass, same boat. Just like your motherfucking ass that you can affect change with just being your motherfucking self. Example, we're going to talk about Sylvester. You know what I'm saying? The singer, son. Hey. Hey, I'm, I'm an old soul. I was born in 87, nigga, but I, I, I fuck with Sylvester Parr, nigga. I'm saying that, 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 that music, nigga, it was way before my time, nigga. I was probably a sperm in my daddy balls when that nigga was in the motherfucking disco club getting it. Yeah, that bitch! You know what I'm saying? He, he, he the light skins. He had black, half white, so that nigga was definitely in that bitch. <laughs> that motherfucker's definitely that motherfucker getting down with the balls, nigga, because it's a different time, different era. You know what I mean? But look, I'm just saying this, man. Be you for the people who want to be you. That's a whole nother story. And for the people who trying to be you, that's for the glory. You know what I'm saying? You are an individual. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you is, man, woman, mixture of both. You know what I'm saying? It's, hey, it's the world. You know what I'm saying? Four cups. Hey, it's the world. Do you. But make sure you do yourself well. Because people that's hiding who they really are. It's people in motherfucking relationships dying inside. Just... Suicide. You know what I'm saying? It's fucked up out here. You know what I'm saying? Been doing that shit majority of their life, Joe. Been doing that shit all day, Joe. It's too motherfucking 20. And y'all niggas better not let Trump get back up in this bitch. I'm, hey, the fuck? I'm gonna say this, though. I'm, I'm gonna say that shit for the mask to read. But anyway, be you. Do you. And, and, and who gives a fuck what the world thinks? Share your story. It might be embarrassing, nigga, but I'm saying it's a testimony for somebody. You know what I'm saying? You don't know who you affect. It's called influence. Go get you some. <laughs> Niggas are getting everything else for Christmas. Go get you some influence. Nah, nigga. Not from somebody else. From your motherfucking self. God sent you this down from your chin and shit. And you acting like you don't know how to break into yourself and shit. Like it's the combination lock here, nigga. Like you just ain't aligned with your shit. Get with your shit, people. Alright? Say it, man. You way more saucier. I'll just pick the song. Car when I say it's saucier, nigga. You man, look, man. Sauce. I'm gonna say this. Let me get to this reading. This looks like a good one too. Sauce. Six of cups in my book. Beast. Sauce. Steez. Style. Your stilo, nigga. Your presence. Your essence. Your personality. Your mind. Your heart. Your wisdom. Your sexiness. Where you slay out here? On some Beyonce shit. Naturally. Hey. Be you. Shine like the motherfucking sun. Especially you divine feminines out here. It's your motherfucking job to shine. And I got the deck just sitting here after I picked the deck out. This is looking dead at me when I'm talking. You know what I'm saying? Hey, aside from the swag, the sauce, 
Make sure you're doing your purpose too. What's purpose? That's doing something outside. Whatever the fuck you're doing to make ends meet. Whatever the fuck you're doing to work out. Like, it's outside your workout regimen. It's outside your job. It's outside your home. This three of wands, shit. You know what I'm saying? You affecting other people while you're not there. Get into that in a second. Let's get with this business. Overall energy. We got that seven of cups here. Fuck I was saying in the pen truck. Seven of Cups. What's that in my book? It's the step after the sauce. Told you six of Cups is the sauce, right? You got to take shit to the next level. What's the next level of just being all that? You got to be all that in the bag of chips. See that cup right here? That seventh cup? That's the bag of chips right there. Oh, this uh, uh, is all that. Ha. You can be all that all motherfucking day, Joe. But if you ain't all that in the bag of chips, you ain't on shit. What's the bag of chips? It differentiates you from another swag motherfucker. You cool, you cool, you cool. But nigga, I'm Fonzie cool, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm A cool in this motherfucker, nigga. Because I got a bag of chips. That's some shit y'all niggas ain't got. Y'all saucy. Johnny took y'all sauce to another level. It's like you cool. All that in the bag of chips, seven of cups. That's like people knowing your name. <laughs> they know my name, motherfucker. <laughs> the neighbors and the motherfucker set, nigga. Cause you know what I'm saying? I'm out here so swaglicious, six of cup and out here in these streets. I made a name for my motherfucking self. But it's one thing having a name and or influence. So the fuck you need to go out here and get. You know what I'm talking about? Let's just call the bag of chips influence. You gotta be all that with influence, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I'm telling you, everybody's saucy. Everybody wanna make it. Everybody wanna be rich. Everybody want everything you got or you want. Everybody want the same shit. We're all on the same fucking boat. What's the boat? The world. Four of Cups. Four of Cups. We, we way above the Four of Cups right here. You know, swaggy shit. Told you Four of Cups is low-level shit. We're on the Sevens right now. we moving on up. Ha. And clarifying this Seven of Cups, we got that Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles right here. Excuse me. Five of Pentacles. What's that? Dark Knight of the Soul and or what it is in this situation is going without something. Four of Pentacles is holding on too tight to some shit or being scared to... Uh, being tight... Hold on too tight to some shit or being scared to let go of something. Five of Pentacles is going without it. So it doesn't, Five of Pentacles always have to be like fucked up energy, like Death Card or Hermit and shit like that. Like, real shit, this is just you going without something. And what that means in this case is this Four of Pentacles. If you went through the Four, if you at the Five of Pentacles, that means you went through the Four of Pentacles. You let something go. Whatever you let go helps with this whole saucy, all that in the bag of chip shit. You know what I'm saying? You obviously let go of some some inhibition that was holding you back. Some ideology that was holding you back. Some feeling that was holding you back. Some actions that was holding you back. This is the energy. I don't mean disrespect, nigga, but I see it. Fuck you talking about. It's the energy of life. <laughs> Queen Latifah. You know what I'm saying? What shorty you played in the Kila and the B and shit? You got that, she got that show with uh, Michael Strahan and shit. I forgot shorty name, man. Uh, you know who I'm talking about. Shorty Duwop. Her. Raven Simone. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna say the brat. Question mark. <laughs> the brat, nigga. Question mark. Because it might not be the same swag that they just got that the brat getting. Because the brat, she just going. Ooh. 60640. <laughs> hey, shout out to shout out to Brad. I, mean, I probably said this up. So. Probably said that wrong, but whatever. Hey, this is swag. It's like no disrespect. It's like a chick diking. Like it's a glow y'all get. It's like an old ass lady that had like a fucked up husband for years. You know what I'm saying? What no type of passion there. She wanna feel love, needed, none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? She just kinda like tired of just fucking with niggas in general. You know what I'm saying? She meet a young little breezy, nice like-minded individual, just like her, female. You know what I'm saying? And they end up bumping coochies, nigga. And they end up being more than friends out this bitch. Shorty just sucked soul out, shorty, turn her out to a whole new motherfucking creature and shit. Got her, you see how my hands is going and shit, got her ass going in ways. That ain't nobody else made her glow. You feel me? This is why I don't never knock homosexual relationships or same-sex relationships. Because like I say, nigga, it's like a nigga converted from Christianity to Islam. Nigga, hey, whatever the fuck works, nigga, work it. <laughs> work it. If it's going to make you a better person, work that shit. If it's going to bring that sauce and swag out you that wasn't there before you was doing your regular shit, do you? Salute. Fuck you talking about. It's only going to make you a better person. Shorty just brought the best out of you. 
You know what I mean? It ain't just a pure fleshly, carnal, physical, you feeling bad and ashamed about a type of bullshit. Fuck no. Let that shit roam free. You should never have to hide who you are or your feelings and shit like that. This chick just saved your life. And she hitting you in ways you ain't never got hit before. This is a blessing from God. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> hey, this is a blessing from God. Hey, I'm not, I don't like putting worldly, I'm not offensing people here. I don't like putting worldly shit to godly shit. But we live in the world, so in these cases, I'm not going to say it's okay. I mean, it's okay, but... And I'm wrong with it. Let's put it like that. Now, using the crystal to masturbate with, I don't know. Shit. Fucking suppressing all kind of levels around here, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? You do what you do. Ain't nothing wrong with it in the world, but just fucking crystal. <laughs> any rate, um, do you. you know what I'm saying? Whoever brings the best out of you, fuck with them. It's like me when I met my twin. I wasn't even no gay shit. Yeah. Just emotions and shit. Just shit inside that was me that my twin brought out of me. And some shit was inside of my twin that came out of his ass. He just had to let go. And I had to let go. And this was our resident. Going back to Twin Flame uh, uh, analogies and shit. That was our recognition. The reason why we was in recognition aside from us just coming together, two people who came from great distances just to be in each other's presence. I'll break, down my, I'll break down my Twin Flame story a lot. Check it out. Get you know what I'm saying? If you gonna fuck with me, really get my backstory and shit like that. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, we brought the best out of each other. You know what I'm saying? But I had to like let go of my inhibitions. You know what I mean? Not just weird as hell, me hanging out with a motherfucker that's 30 years older than me and shit, me and this nigga joined by the hip. I'm somehow everywhere doing things like you following the sun, we ain't even related type shit. You know what I'm saying? Just the glow we got, the smiles we have, the shit that we doing, it's all emotional. It's all emotional. Going off how we feel. It's like two magnets attracting to each other. How you feel when you first meet a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's that, it's that, it's that attraction. It's all cups. Some people bring the best out of you. Some people don't. But in order for the best to get brought out of you, you're going to have to let go of something. Inhibition. You're going to have to let go of being scared. It's like me with this psychic shit. Y'all come from a very strict Christian church of God and Christ background. Motherfuckers mad. I ain't no preacher. Get mad I ain't no pastor that got my own church right now giving all this knowledge and dropping this shit to the church folk. They sick at me for choosing this platform to talk to people instead of in a tabernacle somewhere, you know what I mean? But I had to stop giving a fuck because I'm reaching the world, you know what I'm saying? I would just be reaching the motherfucking community doing that. Not knocking that, but I'm saying influence, son. If I got influence, it needs to, I need to go across the world, baby. I don't need to cross the world with this message. I don't need to just limit my shit at this tabernacle that people might get up and choose to go to every week. You know how niggas be. People be. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse the niggas. People be. You know what I mean? Influence. You gotta use it in your best. If it's gonna benefit you doing it this way, do it. Or incorporate this with your church. Step into the cyber side. You know what I'm saying? You gotta upgrade. You know what I mean? I'm telling you. Whatever you got going on, it could be a person, seven of the cup, it could be you, something that's inside you, it could be your company, your company got potential to do more shit, like expanding your brand and shit like that, you know what I mean, but you gotta let go of inhibitions, you can't be scared, let go, and let God, overall energy, and go for both of you, bottom line energy, that go for both of you, we got the ace of swords, once again, the loading chamber and the matrix, I like this right here, clarifying that as the king of pentacles, that's the master manifester, the alchemist, the magician, a motherfucker that out here that know how to make pinnacles. If you need something, you get it. You ain't waiting for nobody. You ain't looking for no motherfucking hands out. You know how to get it. It's pinnacles. Something you manifest it. You know how to manifest. That's what the King of Pinnacles is. So, Ace of Swords. This is the loading chamber in the Matrix. That's where I can put the Ace of Swords. The loading chamber in the Matrix. What is the loading chamber in the Matrix? It's anything you need. Nigga say what you need. Neo say guns. Lots of them. That's my masculine, he's out here, King of Wands, and guess, guess who he holding on to? It's the devil that's like in front of him and shit. He's like holding on to the devil like a little ass kid holding on to a mom leg. I'm gonna get this energy in a second. This is him in regards to his damn self. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Thank God it's just him and it ain't nowhere else in this motherfucking reading, but I'll get to this in a second. But it's like a divine, you know what I'm saying? Divine masculine, Neo is saying like, we need guns, lots of them. And it's like a whole row of guns appear in the loading chamber. Trinity, she needed to know how to fly a helicopter. She needed to know how to drive a motherfucking motorcycle. Shit gets loaded into her. Boom. She know how to she know how to do it. 
Yeah, it's a movie, but it's real fucking life. You know what I'm saying? Are you not a god? Are you not a god? This guy not sits this down for your motherfucking chin. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We are made by his image and call us by our names, right? You a god, right? All right, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do out here. <gasps> Going to the queen, I mean, the king of motherfucking pinnacles right here. The master manifester in my book. A magician in my book. The alchemist in my book. All that shit. In one fucking card embodied in my book. It's like the Ten of Swords is a lot of shit embodied in my book. You know what I'm saying? Hey, my book, you got everything you need to succeed, survive, and thrive. God, God gave that to you when you was a baby. When you was born to this motherfucking earth, God gave you that right. To attain, A for attain, anything you want to know. That could be knowledge. That could be learning how to do something. That could be learning how to get the freedom. <laughs> Whatever. Bottom line. You and the fucking feminine right here, masculine. Y'all are fucking divines. Y'all got the power to do anything. You put your mind to. A for anything. Swore you put your mind to was swore that's thoughts, decisions, direction. It's only one right way, and that's going up. You see how it's pointing up? It's the only right way, not north, not south, not east, not west. Those are distractions. You're looking up, true north. You dig what I'm saying? All right, feminine coming to this dang thing. We got the full card coming straight in the gate, clarifying that as the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment, happiness, it's being super duper duty content. Like it's all good. Not on a Ten of Pentacles level, all good, but emotionally straight. Like you're in your in your heart, you're cool with what the fuck's happening right now. You know what I'm saying? So something's happening right now. Okay, and it's like you're already happy. You already Emotionally fulfilled by what's happening, even though the full card you're unaware of what the fuck's happening. What's the Queen of Cups out here? Nope. Um, hold on, this train drop no card. Yeah, I'm just picking those out for that. Someone told me to do that. I needed to clarify, so I picked out two, and I like the two cards I picked out to clarify. This Queen of Pentacles, this motherfucking masculine guy, and the feminine energy. Nah, that's some whack shit, but I'm gonna get on that in a sec. Coming to the situation, feminine, you are totally unaware of something, but you feel deep down something is something is gonna happen. It's something you want, something that you, something that makes you happy. And like I say, in the world today, it's only a limited things that make people emotionally content out here. I can make people happy. This is happy. This is fucking singing in the rain happy. This is fucking Mary Poppins loving her fucking nanny job happy, nigga. This is as happy as my fucking Cookie Monster is with a whole motherfucking box of Swarno cookies, nigga. <laughs> and I mean, this is happy. It's like it was a dick drought. You finally get to your bang bang. You in there. <laughs> You been in the desert for all those three days. You ain't getting no water. You finally get some. What you talking about? You ain't eating 12 hours, nigga. You finally can feast. You eating like a little baby and shit. You just a little weak. Now y'all females be with food. <laughs> you happy. You don't even know why you happy. Oof. It's the full card. It's being unaware of something or uh, like this is being unaware. I mean, it could go on a full level, but you ain't no fool. You happy about it. It's like, you, you happy and you don't even know why. Why are we happy and we don't know why, feminines? Get some smoke on that. Nine of Cups, because the dream is coming true. Once again, we don't know it came true. And it obviously came true, Nine of Cups, because we at the 10, nigga. Ah. We just taking a step back to really appreciate, like, some step backs are cool. Like I say, going from the Ten of Cups to the Nine of Cups. That's that's just, that's like taking a step back to kiss yourself on some James Brown shit. It's like a dream come true that happened. It's like Nine of Cups. You want to marry the love of your life, right? But you're with the love of your life. They fly you out to a whole other country. You think it's just a regular-ass vacation. So when you get off the fucking plane, it's a whole ceremony and shit. Your family there. 
you just happy and shit. You ain't even see this coming. You know what I mean? And you just taking a step back. You just looking at your motherfucking mate, your husband, your master, your whatever, your wife. You just looking at her like, damn. Your ass crazy. <laughs> it's like, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker give you something you really wanted. And you just can't believe it. You really just looking back like, yo. Like, I fucking love y'all. Like, y'all really... You know what I'm saying? It's like your job throwing you a party, giving you everything you like. Motherfucker giving you a bottle of your favorite fucking liquor. I don't know, just for the love of some shit. You know what I mean? This is like you really take a step back, like, damn. <laughs> I was dead this shit. It was like me in Vegas for like my, uh, what the Vegas for like my 18th birthday. I turned up. And. I say I met some cool ass people in Vegas during that time. Met a good, good, good friend. You know what I mean, father figure type on I me. Mean, he put me on to a lot of shit. He was a car dealer. And I'm like, real shit. Yeah, see him, this nigga get money. He used to put me on like money, put me on like chicks and shit. And nigga used to give me motherfucking sweet at the MGM and shit. And nigga, like, it's my nigga. <laughs> Straight up. Rest in peace. He ain't even here no more. One of the realest niggas I knew. Old school nigga. And uh, it was my birthday. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know me. He just, it was our first meeting and shit. It was kind of like how I met my twin. My twin one balling like my nigga right here. And it was just like, this nigga was like, all right, it's your birthday. He was like, bet I'm going to set you up. Nigga was like, basically he told me to go to, um, tell him myself. He told me to go to the Hilton. And shit, he was like, all right, go through a timeshare meeting. Just sit there. You ain't got to buy shit. You ain't got no money to get shit anyway, little nigga. Just, hey, tell him it's your birthday. Sit through the fucking, I think it was like a six hour, whatever. It was whack. It's like a demonstration. Like, it was almost like they had to get paid to do it. And it was just like, I'm just trying to get paid being there. So I sit there for six fucking hours getting tutorials on like timeshare and shit like that. Just to get what was coming to me afterwards. And he was like, yeah, I can tell. He's like, I can tell in the second hour you wasn't here to get anything. I'm like, yeah. It's my birthday. I'm just trying to. My, my, my friend sent me here. I'm just trying to see who's popping. And he was like, "All right, it was finished." Nigga, these niggas gave me like two hundred dollars of chips. You know what I'm saying? They gave me two motherfucking nice steak at the fucking hill. So when I walked in that sweet G, I was just like, <laughs> "Nigga, I came out here to turn up. I came out here." To do exactly what the fuck I'm doing right now. I just had to look back. Like, God, he's a good ass guy. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, my life is like a movie. Crazy shit happened. I, I was looking back at a lot of shit that night. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't know. Like, I was totally. I didn't know. I was gonna go to fucking Vegas, meet like one of the most gangest motherfuckers ever. You know what I'm saying? Coolest motherfuckers on the planet. I didn't know. Motherfuckers plug like the influence, nigga. Influence. Get you some. I know that nigga was influenced. You know what I'm saying? The nigga influenced me to some good shit. I.e. exposed me to the real. You gotta get exposed to the real or expose people to the real so they can see the finer things in life. What Big Homie exposed me to was the finer things in life. I ain't no shit about speaks, four star, five star joints, timeshare. No shit about timeshare. Timeshare, fucking resorts, man. Like, High class hoes. I'm just keeping it fucking real. Difference between an escort, you know what I mean, and a high class hoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got it in that night. But look, <laughs> exposure, man. You gotta get exposed to the real. Cause if if it's the full card, if you ain't been exposed to the real, if you don't know what the good things in life is out here, you're not gonna wanna see it. It's like people country I call them country ass bunkers, man. Motherfuckers they ain't never left their town. Fuck a city. These niggas don't even live in the metropolitan area. Motherfuckers live in these small ass cities and stay there the rest of their life. That's all they know. Because they ain't never been nowhere. And that's no bueno. Gotta get exposed to the real. Or at least be around people like my man's who exposed me to the motherfucking real. Get exposed. <laughs> in a good way. Fuck you talking about. Masculine, you coming to the situation. You still on this eight of swords. You was in the eight of fucking swords last week. You're still in that mental prison. Not all masculines, but some. Clarifying that it's the Queen of Cups. That's being ten toes the fuck down 
on a mental decision, i.e. it is the Lucy Liu card in my book. Once again, Lucy Liu and Kill Bill, she wanted fucking around. Niggas respected her, you know what I'm saying? You, you went against her terms, you got your ass killed, head chopped off, she was not fucking playing with you niggas. She ain't the one to be playing with. Hey, take notes. Masculine, and, and, and the sword that this queen has is basically this, this a key to unlock this mental prison you in. What's the mental prison? What's the eight of swords in my book? It's a self-imposed prison. Like, it's a fucked up ideology that you've been carrying your whole life that you gotta get rid of for you to grow into a better person. That was, like, Christianity for me. I'm not knocking Christianity. Obviously, I'm a Christian psychic and shit. You know what I'm, I'm throwing Jesus Christ on y'all face all the time, but I'm just saying. I left the tabernacle with that bullshit, though. That everybody else going to hell except us Christians because we worshiping the one true God and everybody else lost. Like, nah, that was an ideology. You got to get rid of that shit. I'm going to do nothing but just knocking everybody else and instead of being open minded to everybody else. Once I left church, I started, like I said, I studied every major religion. I said, I read everything. Nigga, from the Quran to the Torah, nigga, Kabbalah, the Sea Scrolls, nigga. I read a lot. I'm saying, Ancient Teaching Mount Chesdeck, nigga, the Branch Book, nigga. Like, I couldn't have those books in my house. As a kid, or my grandparents' crib, if they seen a fucking this year ranch, but they'd throw it out. I'm saying, if they seen Dan Seas girl, they'd throw that shit out. They see a Quran or a Torah, oh, oh, oh shit. Oh shit. They gonna be on my ass, nigga. Because I was already going to hell. I was already sinning. I was already all that fuck shit, you know what I'm saying, that they put on me. That was because they, they were in a self imposed prison. All of them were in a self imposed prison, and I had to get the fuck. Away from them, from them, all of them, family members, to the whole church. Like I had to get the fuck away from that shit, and it got me here. But what was the key to get me away from this shit? Exposure. I had to get the fuck out of my hometown. Luckily, my mom chose <laughs> to take us everywhere. Like I say, uh, from Head Start to fucking, uh, I graduated high school in 2005. I lived in two different cities and went to 14 different fucking schools. 12 to 14 different schools. Exposure. He went to school in fucking West Palm Beach, Florida. He went to school in Vegas. I lived in Vegas for like three years. Went to school in fucking Rena Del Rey, California and shit. A little time in my fucking Denver. Chicago. <laughs> exposed. I got exposed to a lot of shit. I've seen a lot in Cali. I've seen a lot in Florida. I've seen a lot in Vegas. Growing up in Vegas. Growing up. I grew up as a kid in Vegas, but I was there when Pac got shot. I drove by the motherfucking BMW when he got shot. Straight up. I lived on the catering Flamingo, nigga. Pop got <laughs> shot on uh, uh, Flamingo and Coble, nigga. Just down the street. My uncle was there. He just happened to be visiting. D.C. Nigga took my mama car, stole my mama car, and told me to go with him. And we just fucking drove by the fucking BMW. Straight up. Vegas, boy. That was when the Spice Girls was out and what and why I was there. They had the old MGM lion mouth. Niggas was walking in and shit, nigga. It's a different type of Vegas, boy. <laughs> Man, it was a different type of Vegas. That was the fucking David Copperfield, Lance Burton, Vegas, nigga. <laughs> Good days. Hey, you just gotta get exposed to shit. If you get exposed to shit, then, like I say, you're not gonna be in mental prison. So finally, I told you it's a security net. Think somebody got your back. Hey, it's worse. Think somebody got your back when, when they ain't supposed to. Thinking you earned something when you're not. Just because you family or just because the family got something going on and it's money involved and you feel like, I don't know, you need it, but you ain't really in charge of anything. You're not getting anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just because your dad rich. Like I said, so many millionaire and billionaire heirs who ain't giving their kids shit. Don't you find that odd? They know they kids. They know they ain't going to give them a whole fucking empire. What they going to do is fuck the whole business up. What they going to do is, like I say, be self-destructive with the shit. You know what I mean? It's a mental decision to get rid of these self-imposed prisons, to get rid of these ideologies. What's a sword? It's your thoughts, your mentality, the direction you're going, and the decisions you're making. Queen of Swords, you need to be ten toes the fuck down on how you maneuver mentally. Masculine? Why? It's a sword. because something big is going to appear. Good, bad, and ugly. Good. This is... Fuck.
Fuck that. It's attendance. You need to be in attendance for something. You're not in attendance but wherever you need to be in tenants for because you're in a self-imposed prison. You still got ideology. You still got walls up. It's still something you ain't trying to mentally accept. You know what I mean? A for accept. It's something you ain't accepted yet. That's why you ain't in attendance. It's like your daughter lesbian. I don't know why I'm talking about lesbians all day today. <laughs> Love y'all. It's like your daughter a lesbian, she get married. And you was like, oh, you know, you're a church Christian motherfucker. Oh, I don't believe in that shit. I ain't going. She gonna get married. With or without you, bro. It'd be best to be in attendance. Fuck, fuck your mentality. I mean, you even have your mentality in attendance there. But you gotta be in attendance. Okay? So you need to be queen of swords. Ten toes the fuck down. All right? On... Dissolving this bullshit and be there for your daughter's wedding. Even if it is to another woman. That's who she loves. That's where we at. Nigga, accept it. Your son, gay. Nigga, accept it. Tragic story of a guy here. I don't know if it was Chicago or one city. He killed the son when the son told him he was gay. Tragic shit. That was a self-imposed prison. Fucked up mentality that nigga had. And didn't want to attend that barbecue. Yeah, broke your soul, your son, on that. But, hey, you got to love motherfuckers. You got to be there for motherfuckers. Final notion, and I'm going to keep it moving. It's like what's going on with um, uh, Dwayne Wade and his son, bro. You see you see Dwayne Wade in attendance for his, his, his little nigga, man. That's his son. He defending him. He want to call his son she. That's his thing. Nigga, he in attendance. This shit is happening. It's happening. And he's going with it. He ain't got no men- mental shit against it. And the nigga being proactive by being ten toes down about being in attendance, being there for his son, daughter, it, right now. That's what's up. That's the manly thing to do. That's what real men do. And that's when you come into this situation or some Dwayne Wayne shit. Not just like that, but it could be that. Y'all got kids. I don't know what I'm saying. Y'all, y'all got shit going on, man. Feminine role. Two swords. Masculine got two swords. You're reflecting it with two swords. Seven of swords. That's the Decepticon card or a secret that's inside that needs to come out. You see how sevens are all about things that need to come out. Seven of swords. You're going to Come up on a secret feminine or a secret is going to be revealed to you. Whatever it is, it's going to be good because this is fresh off the, you ain't even know, full card slash emotional content slash happy. You don't even know why you happy slash the dream just came true energy. You you right here. Cat going to come out the bat. Something's going to get revealed to you. You was a fool, right? Coming into the situation. Okay. Lack of awareness. Fool is lack of awareness. Just not knowing anything. You're going to, something is going to, you're going to get aware of something. And I'll take this as good. And then clarifying it is the pain card. And like I said, the pain card is good. It's pain and pleasure, man. It's real shit. It's like getting cracked for the first time, shorty. It's going to hurt. <laughs> oh, it's going to hurt. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to be pleasurable. You know what I'm saying? It's the first time. Whether you doing it in the butt first time or some shit. <laughs> Shorty, it's gonna hurt. But it's gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like a disclaimer. I get you. it's a good thing. I'm a good dude, good lover, especially. And I just be giving chicks disclaimers. It's like, listen, like fuck around, get hurt, fuck around with me and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get too attached, especially if it ain't. If I told you from the gate what it is, you not be getting lost in sauce here. It's a lot of sauce over here. I be getting lost in sauce too around this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's pleasure and pain. You know what I'm saying? It's some people that I love and really rock with that I can't rock with no more given what I know about them. Or given what they know about me. You know what I'm saying? Like it's pleasure and pain. What got revealed was good. It hurt, but it hurt in a good way. It hurt so good. Shit hurts so good. It's like, God, I'm trying to explain this feeling in the best way. 
It's like a motherfucker that tried to do you bad, you know, try to throw you under the bus, get you fired. I don't know, try to set you up. Maybe they set you up to get robbed or they broke in your house or something. It was like an inside job, definitely an inside job. And it's like you find out that the person that robbed you, the person that set you up was your best friend. And they don't know you know. know I'm saying pain. <laughs> and my Mr. T voice, pain. Like it's gonna be some pain. This is you this is you on somebody ass whooping and you finna whoop they ass and they don't even know the ass whooping coming, Joe. It's gonna pain. Cause it hurts you more than it hurts them. It hurts you that your bestie, that your best friend did you bogus, but it's gonna feel good. When you break your foot off in their ass. And this is you literally breaking your foot in somebody's ass. <laughs> God damn it. I done broke my motherfucking foot kicking your ass so bad, motherfucker. Got me hurting. <laughs> that type of energy. You know what I'm saying? This is like... Like you playing a joke on your sibling as a kid. It's like... Well, brother, I didn't know to the extent that this nigga would go to win battles and shit. I remember one time we was throwing rocks at each other. Just a little rip. I was throwing a little rocks at the nigga. You know what I mean? I guess I hit him in the face or something too hard. This little nigga pick up a brick and throw it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even see the brick because it was so high in the air. I I'm just like throwing rocks at him. That's the thing I know. Dude. Nigga that bust me in the head with a brick. Well, bro, crazy as hell. Am I not the knot still there? That bitch right here. Fucking knot on my head. Then the nigga did my sister greasy. They fight for couches. And bro put a knife in the couch. You know what I'm saying? To keep my sister from like sitting on it. But she didn't see the knife. And her ass hopped on the couch like this. And basically got her fucking side slice. Not too bad. It was just like gray slice. But it could have been fucking tragic. Hard lesson we had to learn to just not let bro do what he do, but bro ass crazy. That nigga been crazy since a little kid. He was a little kid. If a girl hit him, he smack her ass right back. I ain't never touched girls like that. I ain't never hit no girl. And shit, I had a twin sister. I sent my sister on your ass. There you go. Nigga, beat the brakes off your ass. Yo said she was twice my size. She hit puberty before me. I had a fucking bodyguard. My sister hit puberty on GD. Look, nigga. <laughs> Ain't no girls fuck with me. Some girl pull. I'm saying this is a move before going. I can say it's painful, but hey, at least we got the cow at the back here. There's this chick that really didn't like me. I guess she didn't like me because I didn't like her. And then I had like good hair. You know what I'm saying? Like I had like a, a Elvis curl. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's some dentist to minute shit. I used to comb my shit. <laughs> It's come out shit in the morning, you know what I'm saying? Uh, in the bathroom and shit before I went to class on game. This is like second grade. First, second, third grade and shit. And um, I had a rat tail, a ponytail. That bitch long as hell. Like, that bitch like, yeah. <laughs> and I had bees on it. Black and blue bees on it. Because, you know, I was game bagging since birth, bitch. Like, black and blue bees on that bitch, man. I just had good hair, bro. And shorty didn't have no hair. And Shorty didn't like my sister at all. But she, you know what I'm saying? And nobody ran up on Dayo. Dayo was big. Like, Dayo was like, it's crazy. She petite, small as hell now. And I'm a beast now. But back then, I was like a short, scrawny nigga. And Dayo was a beast, so. Uh, I guess Shorty liked me. I ain't like her. She pulled my, my ponytail out. Yanked my shit. Like, yanked my shit off. That shit broke off in her fucking hand, bro. My shit was bleeding. You know, I wanted my twin sister. Damn! <laughs> Damn! You know what I'm saying? Be your ass, Joe. And Danielle put the blue flux on her goofy head. Danielle body slammed a bit. Got on. <laughs> I'm just sitting there smiling and shit. Mm. You get, bitch? <laughs> what, you thought, what you thought I was going to tell my sister, nigga? Like, it's that type of shit. You seeing your. It ain't hating, it ain't. Nothing mischievous or devious about it. It's just you seeing people who did you wrong get fucked up. It hurts you. Because these used to be your people. They ain't really have to be in these situations. But now they fucked up. You're fucking with the real one. And that's you, feminine. Me? <laughs> Don't get off too hard on these motherfucking uh, 
But these motherfuckers getting fucked up out here. And this is like really knowing the truth on somebody and really can get ratchet with the shit, but you just choosing to do the best divine way about it. And you know what I'm saying? Do shit in the best respectable way. But at the same time, smile at the fact that you have all the power now. Ball falling in your court type shit. That energy. Putting final smoke on that energy. Just looking at all you guys. Really see. We got three pennies. This is you and somebody else building. It's like, real shit. You just gonna build somebody. Somebody that was in your space that you was building with. You know what I'm saying? You get revealed that they doing some shit. It pains you, but hey. You and probably somebody else are gonna have to do something about this shit. Once again, it's like the girl that pulled my ponytail. Seven of Swords. My sister asked me, who did that shit to you? I ain't really want to tell her because, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really want to see the girl get beat like that. The day I was just angry. <laughs> it was just angry. You know what I'm saying? And she was a bully. And uh, I told her who it was. And, well, shit, Mr. T. Pain. Fuck my little brother. I was one minute. I'm one minute younger than my sister. Literally, one minute younger than my sister. But I'm little bro. <laughs> you were my little brother. She, my sister. Uh, uh, that's that's like this is me, and then, like this is my sister, and like this is the chick my sister finna get on. I had to like tell my sister what was popping because my sister was there the whole time and she just didn't know. And once my sister knew who it was, my sister really got in her shit because that was foul business. Something gonna happen. <laughs> and it ain't you that's gonna be... I mean, it might be you that's doing that ass but it might be you that do the whatever, but this is like some real somebody sticking up for you type situation. This is really a whole other person coming in to do some shit because it's really painting you what the fuck just transpired, what the fuck you just found out. Who you find ain't riding from your corner. Who you find is your enemy. <laughs> shit like that. Um... Masculine in regards to you, feminine energy. The masculine in regards to feminine energy. We got the Queen of Pentacles, and once again, this looks like a karmic feminine, or this is like a bossy energy, like your masculine trying to boss you around, or this is the energy of like your masculine bossing up, which is kind of what you want. Your masculine bossing up out here. This is the Khalees card. I'm bossy. Listen to Khalees bossy. It's that energy. Niggas can listen to that too. I'll be listening to Khalees Bossy, feeling bossy out here, being that bitch. <laughs> Getting it with her. You know what I'm saying? I'll be shimmying into that shit. Yeah, you know I mean, bossy. You trying to boss the fuck up. What is a boss? That's a motherfucker that ain't scared to get shit out here. Not quite the King of Pentacles. A person who can manifest whatever. You gotta be a boss before you can be an owner. You gotta be a worker before you become a supervisor. It'll be a Padawan before you come a Jedi, motherfucker. You will, you will Padawan. You know what I'm saying? You will Padawan and a cuss becoming a Jedi. Mass is going to boss up on the situation. I take it it's basically going up the ladder. I used to say this shit in season one all the time. Three of one ain't nothing but a ladder. Four, one, four cups is the world. It's a plantation. It's a crab bucket. It's the matrix. There is a way out the matrix. There is a way out of slavery. There is a way out this crab bucket. Find feminine, you're the person who gets out the crab bucket and leaves a ladder down for the other crabs to climb out. But they're crabs. Some crabs like being crabs. They're cool where they're at. It's like a plantation divine feminine. You escape the freedom. You teach your masculine how to escape the freedom too. That's what this three of wands is. He's just going to have to boss up and go over there and take the path that you took. You know what I'm saying? Um... The world. It's a matrix. We have to get out to the real world. Four wands. That's Zion. That's heaven. That's home. So wherever the heart is. What's God? Sit this down from your chin. Yeah, your, your heart somewhere around there. Path, purpose. It's your purpose to get free, masculine. It's your purpose to get home, masculine. It's your purpose to get to your feminine, masculine. It's your purpose to do a lot of shit. You just got to get on purpose. Clarifying purpose, three of wands. We got the eight of wands. Once again, you know how to get free. You know how to use this ladder. You know how to use the underground railroad. Nigga, the divine feminine made it very clear. She three of wanded so you can three of wand. You say that shit two times. She three of wanded so you can three of wand. Once again, it's the energy of your divine feminine 
teaching you how to read, nigga, number one. You a slave, number one, to get free. You gotta read. You cannot not know how to read in, in the free north. Because, yeah, slavery is abolished, but you still got finessing motherfuckers who will use a dumb person. If you're stupid, people will use you. you know what I'm saying? Gotta have some use out here. Once again, some influence, overall energy. Alright? So you can read people and influence his books, Eight of Wands. This is a book, or a memo, or a letter, or instructions. Masculine, you got the instructions on how to use this ladder, on how to get on purpose, on how to get out. It's the same energy I send with my masculine when I send my videos to him. Some videos with like awesome messages I need he needs to hear. I think he needs to hear I send it to him. I'm saying drop the breadcrumbs. It's my way of giving him insight. If he don't get it from anybody else, he gonna get it from me. You know what I'm saying? Moving on. Feminine, you in regards to the masculine, you got the six of wands. You're going to be winning. Okay? When it comes to the masculine department. It's also celebrations or victory. I take it as a victory. You know? It's the main reason why I dream come true, why happiness is over here. It's, this looks like a breakthrough. Something you've been stressing over. You're going to get a W win over something you've been stressing over. Not the sorts. Losing sleep. Losing teeth. Losing hair. Losing weight. The wrong way. You know, it's like I was reading some article and I had like all the organs and which uh, mental thought facilitates with them. So, for example, like grief is facilitated with the lungs. Grief is facilitated with the lungs. I find highly strange. I smoke like a chimney. I feel highly, I feel highly strange that like I cough a lot, like, you know. I'm saying I got, like the smoke cough, like not coughing like I'm sick, but like from smoking a cigarette, I spit a lot because I don't like the taste of the cigarette, even though I'm smoking it. That's why I ain't smoking cigarettes as much and quitting permanently in two fucking days, man. <laughs> Still like the taste of it. I smoke, but I don't like the taste of it. You know what I'm saying? That problem's gonna get eradicated soon. Um, it's just coughing. Like smoking that good, good all the time. It's like you know, loogies, coughing up loogies and shit. That's lungs, you know what I'm saying? It's like when I swim, I can't be submerged in water for too long. Like, I don't know, it's like a jacuzzi. I'm sitting in a jacuzzi from like the chest down. Eventually, I got to bring my lungs up out the water, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like I don't know, it's like some type of constriction. Ain't no health issue. I was born with a collapsed uh right lung. And uh, I got a tube in my in my lung, in my chest. It's like a small tube that uh connects uh I think my lung to something something that collapsed. And uh it's still there. You know what I'm saying? And uh I just always had a lung problem. But grief has always been like in my life and shit. And grieving over people. You know what I'm saying? Or grieving over shit that ain't here. With other people, it's other ones. Like, it's something that connects to your heart. It's something that connects to, like, uh, the digestive system. Something that connects to your nervous system. Like, every, it's, it's different. Like, anger affects something. Uh, something affects your brain. I forgot what it is. But I know grief grief affects the lungs. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I should say this. Like, it's a lot of victories that I've had over the grief that I've had. I was grieving a few things. Some things that I, I I used to grieve, I don't grieve anymore. I got victory over that. So I can kind of breathe on some Tony Braxton shit better. You know what I'm saying? I noticed since I kind of got victory over a lot of shit, I can function better. Shit feels better. Tastes better and shit. Like, it's better overall. But it's all mental. Because it really wasn't nothing in the way of me getting better. I just put myself mentally in the mind to get better. You know what I'm saying? Another energy that says feminine is... It's like I was telling my little homie yesterday. You know... If you happy, somebody else unhappy that you happy. They ain't hating on you. You probably got married. You happy because you married. But it's probably a whole lot of niggas 
it's mad you marry. A whole lot of females is mad you get married, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it ain't gonna be the same no more. It's a lot of three swords out here. Every time you, like I said, when you and your master come together, when you and your master be in each other's lives, it's a lot of three swords going on. It's pain. It's people who you used to mess with, you don't mess with no more. It's people who were there that ain't there no more because of this. It's good for y'all. But like I say, as far as y'all family, as far as y'all children, as far as y'all friends, as far as the people who ain't involved anymore, they're going to feel some type of way. Those are five of wands, though. Outside conflict, shit that don't involve you. But if you allow it, it will. You know, but you kind of... It's like you kind of can sleep now. You know, given what's transpired. And masculine in regards to himself, he's got this devil card in him. Gotta pick another card because I'm see the fuck's up with this shit. Nigga. Seven of Wands, Eternal Conflict. <sighs> Once again, it's the energy of a man that's married. Married now. <laughs> I was married now. You's married now. Now you know the severity of the situation. This shit for life. I gotta be a provider. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna have to really step my motherfucking game up. King of Wands, that's the divine masculine. This is burning on all cylinders. This is being the best man you can be. But how can you be the best man you can be with this devil in front of you? Or clinging to the devil in front of you? You gotta deal with your inner conflict about what's happening. You're burning on all cylinders. You in good energy right now, masculine. Yeah, a good energy to deal with your internal conflict. It's almost like you dancing with the devil, so you ain't got to deal with your internal conflict. You looking at your internal conflict, but you also behind the devil. Like you ain't got to deal with it or something. And what's the devil? It's a few things. In my book, devil card in my book is addictions. You know what I mean? Something you can do without that you do a lot. It can be trying to control shit all the fucking time. Like Capricorns, which are represented by the devil. You can't control everything. You can't control what the fuck happens to your kids when they leave your house. Okay, let God protect and watch over them while they maneuver out here. They're coming back home. Four of Wands, they're coming back home. A kid's four of Wands is the home. They ain't as advanced as you, nigga. They ain't on the four fifth dimensional four wands home level. You on that shit. But them, their fucking four wands is you, mom. The home, mom. Pop two. She can be a she, she can be a he, you know how we rock it. That's their kingdom. That's their home. That's their heaven. It's you. It's the motherfucking environment you create. Well, shit. I was mad as fuck when I lost my mom's house, man. She lost it. I didn't lose it. She did. I was just paying to try to keep it while she was fighting to keep it. But when it was, she was mad when she lost it. I was mad. I lost it. I know she was even more. But it was like, that was home. That was my four wands for real. That house. You can tell my fucking energy when I had that bitch. You know what I mean? Gone. <laughs> ah. You know what I mean? Like, gotta deal with. Shit you gotta deal with. You know what I mean? You can't have control over things sometimes. You gotta have the power to let go of things. If you ain't got the power to let go of things, then you in the devil energy. You holding on shit, holding on to shit, you in the devil energy. It's like my little bro, you know what I'm saying? Only let my mom see his only let my mom see his daughter. Like that's He said he got his reasons, but then none of that shit makes sense. It doesn't. Some shit he feels is bogus. Maybe he's getting influenced by a devil or something. Either way, it's bogus. Some shit you need to end ASAP. I don't know what the fuck in this head? I'm the devil. Make the boy do some of the shit that he do. But he does it. I don't approve of it, but hey. That's some shit he's gonna work with. That's his devil. <laughs> that's his shit you're gonna have to deal with. Some devil energy though. It ain't positive. It ain't right. The fuck he on? But he doing it. He's got free will. Everybody can do whatever the fuck they want out here. It's like a person who wanna deny God person that created you, you don't want to acknowledge them, you can do that, you have the free will to do that, it's all the shit you want, but you can do that, devil card is also, like I say, you being chained to some fucking body, whack ass baby mama, fucked up wife, fucked up life, fucked up job, 
You're chained to it, meaning you're going to have to break away from the chain. Can't just be Ray Charles, do your shit outside of, like, nah, no, nigga, spend your time, energy, and resources getting free from this chain. Don't involve yourself in other shit while being chained to this devil, because eventually something's going to happen. Main reasons people fuck with this devil energy or can't get away from this devil energy is because they ain't dealt with their internal conflict. If a person chained in you, that means you ain't freed yourself. You free yourself, you can free your ass from them. They like you when you chain to them. If you free, you have no use for them. It's like the Matrix when it kicks you out after you wake up from the little bubble and shit. They need you in a bubble so they can consume you. So they can just keep doing what they're doing with you. If you're fully aware of what the fuck's going on, you don't need to be there. They flush you down the toilet. Nebuchadnezzar pick you up and take you take you to home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta get out of shit. Certain shit you can't be involved in. This is getting out of a gang. This is leaving a fucking group of friends alone who crazy as hell. You was robbing banks with these niggas. Now these niggas is killing niggas. And you ain't down with the killings. Now these niggas trying to kill you. Bad people. It's getting a fucking loan shark from a fucking mob, nigga. When people told you not to fuck with this dude, you fucking with the dude. Like, dangerous people. Some people you need to leave the fuck alone, man. Y'all deal with your internal conflict. Wherever the fuck you feel obligated to, it's mental. Dissolve that shit. Quickly. Don't nobody got you trapped. Don't no situation got you trapped. This could be a motherfucking ideology. It's like with my twin. My twin thinks his disability... Dictates his life. I told you, the boy looked normal. You wouldn't even know the nigga had a disability unless I told you. You know what I'm saying? He just had a tumor removed. It's fucked up mentally over it. It took, you know, a little rehabilitation and a lot of fucking mental strength and God and a whole bunch of other shit to get him back to normal. But he doesn't feel like the same man anymore. Like, he feels just like he... It's when I met him. He ain't on that no more. He more swaggerific. But when I met my twin, he was like... A broken man, half like a shell of the man he used to be. He was down on himself. He didn't think he looked good. He didn't think he had nothing to offer women. You know what I'm saying? He just was like a, a pity party sorry head, man. I didn't feel sorry for him. I just seen potential in him. He's a good looking guy. Like, the nigga smart as fuck. Like, he looked normal to me. So I used to tell him, nigga, you look normal. I used to kick it. I met him in college. He used to kick it in the uh, abilities of with the disabled motherfuckers all day, relating to them niggas. And I started hanging with him. And I was in there with him. I'm like, bro, we need to get the fuck out of here. You are not like these niggas. Yeah, I am, man. I'm disabled, man. Show me a scar. Look at my head. You know, they got a big ass scar on his head when they when in his brain took out a fucking tumor. I was a nurse for years. I've never seen anybody heal in a man of my 20 year old. That's because that nigga really wanted to live. He a Sagittarius too. Can't kill a Sagittarius. Period. They will be cancer. They will be everything. Them niggas is survivors on some fucking Destiny's Child shit. For real, for real. So that's why he my nigga. But I was like, yo, we gotta, I'm like, stay out this ability off you, bro. You ain't nothing like these niggas, man. You better than these niggas, man. I ain't knocking these niggas, man, but these niggas in here just like you because they want to be here, man. Stay the fuck out of here. Go to a real library, man. Go somewhere else, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with me. I had this nigga, like I said, we in the motherfucking bars and shit. This nigga getting pussy play off me. Is this your son? <laughs> Damn. You still look good. This shit, how's this nigga like? You know what I'm saying? It's like nigga getting played. Nigga feel more needed around me. Like around me, nigga felt like he had more purpose. Nigga felt better being around me. I brought the best out that nigga. Nah, he's so swagalicious, he feel he ain't even got to fuck with me. Like, I ain't shit. Like, I ain't the nigga that unlocked the goodness out of this nigga. He locked the goodness out of me, but that's how I be sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to unchain yourself from certain ideologies. You know what I'm saying? My twin had to get off that shit he was on. And I was on some ignorant ass trying to be the man shit. I was chained to fame and blowing up and all that bullshit. You know what I mean? I had to get off that. That was a ball and chain for me. <clears throat> Ain't like we got wives or kids that's chaining us either. We both free birds. It's more mental with us and addictions. That's all another story, but going to the future. Wrapping this thing up. Feminine, you got the four swords. This is being in your head. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with being in your head. Ain't nothing wrong with, like, you know what I'm saying? Being in your head. But make sure you ain't in your fucking head too long. You get in your head too long, you're going to end up in this emotional energy. Because what starts in the mind 
And then once in the mind, it goes to everything else, to your emotions, heart, and then it goes to your actions and what you manifest out of it. So four swords. This is like dwelling on one fucking thing. And you need to get off that. Once again, it's the same energy my mask gonna have. You know what I mean? Um Four swords, that's being in your head. My mask, like I said, he's got a scar. Nigga went through some shit. That shit always is in his head. Even like not having kids. Nigga feel like he feels like uh defected. Like, you know what I mean? That fucks him up. That'll fuck me up too. Me and, tell me I'm the same motherfucking person, Joe. You know what I'm saying? It'll fuck me up. To have his life, even though I, I want to be like the nigga. You know what I mean? He tell me, like, you don't want to be like me, dude. Like, be better than me. You know what I'm saying? Some shit a father always tell their son. You know what I'm saying? I want you to be better than me. Like, I fuck my shit up. Like, he'll, say, he'll beat himself up. I used to beat myself up all the time. It's, you know what I'm saying? That's the shit I had to get off of. Because when you beat yourself down mentally, all it does is five a cup you. It's the hermit card. It fucking emotionally isolated. You, you're emotionally isolated. It's depression and shit. It's like, like I said, you feeling you don't have it when you have it. When you start feeling you don't have nothing or you're not good enough, when you start to look at your flaws, four swords, and really put, be in your mind about your flaws, then you just gonna isolate yourself. This is like your skin. I see chicks, my sister had that shit. She had bad acne in high school and shit. You know what I'm saying? And that shit made her emotionally isolated. She didn't feel good having bumps. She felt like a fucking quasi model. She used to be hard on herself. I'm like, but you fine as hell, like. All the niggas want to give it to these bitches mad because they ain't you like. It's just acne. Quit tripping. She, nigga, you ain't got it, nigga, so you don't know this shit. Like, she used to cry over acne, bro. It wasn't that bad. You know what I'm saying? My personal opinion, but, you know, she wasn't feeling the acne shit. You know what I'm saying? She had got proactive and she been straight ever since. Ha! <laughs> Preserve your sexy. And it's like, it was something small, but it fucked her up. Like, with me, it was, um,. It's more complex with me. Ha! <laughs> I'ma move on. But yeah, don't. Oh yeah, it was like, uh. That way, with me, as a kid. I used to pee the bed. Nasty ass bed water. And, um. Uh, could spin out of people's house. You know what I'm saying? Because my mom wouldn't let me. She was like, I ain't gonna let you embarrass yourself, nigga. You think you can do it, but you can't, nigga. I'm gonna let you know. You can't drink no liquid at the six, nigga. Like, hell no. Nah. Then I met a friend who peed in the bed, too. <laughs> and that was my sleepover. Me and my nigga Anthony is a white boy, white German ass nigga. And um, I stayed at his house. Because when I went to his house, I see plastic was on his bed and shit. I'm like, you got plastic on your bed? I'm like, me too. I'm like, yo, we the piss game. <laughs> My nigga, he spent out of my house, I spent out of his house, because we both pissed in the bed, and it wasn't no problems. I was my best fucking friend. We used to watch Money Train together and try to, I was like, Wesley Snipes, he was Willie Harrison and shit. Like, white man can't jump. I was Wesley Snipes, he was Willie Harrison and shit. Like, we had this little black white thing going on, black boy, white boy shit. I was my nigga. And uh, I moved to Vegas and shit, started moving around. I was one of my first good friends I had lost just from moving and shit. But at any rate, saying all I should say this, you know, don't be too in your head about shit, because in reality, somebody going through the same shit you're going through. And they ain't feeling no way about it, so you shouldn't feel no way about it. Master, going to the future, final card. We got the Two of Pentacles. You're trying to get close to somebody saucy as shit. Two of Pentacles. This is you being in somebody's presence. Are you in attendance of what's going on? Your present. So once again, this goes back to the uh, overall energy. Like a dad who didn't want to go to his daughter's wedding because his daughter marrying another woman and shit. It's like not only do you get rid of your ideologies and shit, not only do you ace the pinnacles, attend, show up, be present for the situation, you walking your daughter down the aisle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's saucy. That's what's up. You know how many likes you're going to get for supporting your daughter and her cause? You might meet some sexy advocates and shit that that they want to fuck with you. They daughter on the same shit. Yeah, you know I mean, and you just got cool points right now, man. Support. That's saucy. Support is saucy. 
being in attendance for people's shit is saucy. It's like my little brother. He was at the house. He sells sauce. He got some fucking fire ass sauce. I'm gonna start promoting that shit next year. Some sauce, man. Some good ass sauce. And he's making cheesecakes now. This nigga got like honey mustard sauce, like teriyaki, jerk sauce. Like it's called Kalama sauce. You know what I'm saying? It's my nephew uh, that passed. Rest in peace. It's a uh, name after his son that passed. You know what I'm saying? Kalama sauce. I spent twenty dollars for a cup of sauce, Joe. It's multi-purpose, nigga. You can eat tips. Fries, nigga, I put it on everything, yo. I put this shit on everything. It's fucking fire, you know what I'm saying? He just had his shit sitting in the kitchen, and then I synced it. I was like, yo, how much for how much for a jar, bro? Now I gotta support you, nigga. He said twenty dollars. I say, nigga, this shit better be the bee's knees. Gave him twenty, man. I don't, I would never pay twenty. That's like paying twenty dollars for ketchup. This shit, nigga. <laughs> Hey, I will pay top dollar for this shit, bro. That's all I was saying was just like, bro, you, he a Leo too. He just, nigga, I know. Ha! Nigga, I know. Ain't shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's his hobby. Some shit he got on the side. I mean, nigga, doctor, old doctor. They just doing this shit on the side. Bro, this was passion and shit. And you can taste it, man. You can taste the passion in that sauce, boy. You got support. My brother got a business. He got a product. I bought the shit. Cause nigga, when I have my deck in my book, boy, you better buy my shit. I'm buying your shit. You know what I'm saying? My homie. He got a business. He got a book. Hey, man, I got a book. I'm going to buy it. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing. Knowing people, support people, nigga. Oh, that's my friend. She got her own shop. Go to her shop. Get your hair done at her shop. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, your man's got a barbershop. Just send your son his barbershop. Like, support each other's shit. You know what I mean? It's like your mask going to support what you do. Or be present for the saucy shit you got going on. You know what I'm saying? And, um... What does Divine Master want to say in the fourth dimension? Actually, Nine of Pentacles. This is being where we need to be to bless somebody or be blessed. You know what I'm saying? This is the step before the Ten of Pentacles. That's two people coming together like butt cheeks, two people forming like Voltron, two twins fusing together. It's like he knows he needs to be A for attendance. So he came to the situation with to you and your harvest. This is your harvest, feminine, you've been working on. This is what you've been attending for here in attendance for. Your master is going to start finally being in attendance. You know? He's saying he's in he's in position. That's what your master is saying. He's in position. And putting smoke on him being in position. Six of Pentacles. Like I say, he's just trying to get square. <laughs> That's all he's trying to do is get square. You know what I'm saying? Do his part. It's like, like I say, it's like a slave that went to freedom. You touch on masculine, how to get to freedom. How to use it on the ground railroad. Two years go by. And your master ends up knocking at your door because he finally left. He finally took a chance. He finally got to where you at. You square with him. You taught him how to get free to get him free. Now, whether he got free and went to your doorstep or got free and went somewhere else, probably in the arms of another lover. Either way, the nigga got free. He's getting square. That's what you want, right? You want to be square. It goes with the whole Ten of Cups situation of happiness. When you happy, that's all that matter, right? You you want people to want you happy, right? You, you know what I mean? You want people to be happy, right? You know what I mean? Be happy for happy people. What this gave me happy? <laughs> be happy for happy people, man. You know what I'm saying? Feminine, feminine, what you got to say out here? Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, what you wounded about, player? Just screaming out the Wounded Warrior. And the two of wands here. So I was going to put this out. The wine masculine had the three of wands and the eight of wands. What's that? Eleven of wands. Feminine had the nine of wands plus two of wands. That's eleven of wands. Eleven, eleven. You know what I mean? Which feminine? What you're saying in the fourth and fifth dimension is <laughs> she's saying do work. You know what I'm saying? Two of Wands, that's work. That's doing whatever the fuck you gotta do to make ends meet. That's doing your part. That's like your job, your work, paying bills, you keeping a nice environment for the people in your home, people in your life, you being a model citizen for influence people around you and shit like that. Like I say, Nine of Wands, that's the wounded warrior. Like, it's hard work. I just take this as hard work. Like, it's hard doing the right thing. Like, once again, me being in this job, making money the right way, it's a little harder than, like I said, me going on the streets and, and making money all fucking day. Easy money. I can make easy money all day. You know what I'm saying? But that ain't the right way. 
All money ain't good money. Like I say, I work here to get shit. I gotta work to get shit. Of course, if somebody steal my shit, I'm gonna be fucked up. It took a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of resources, a lot of man hours to really get the shit that I that I manifested. Like I say, the easy way out is taking shit. People can take shit all day. They ain't out here working. So, you know what I'm saying? A thief don't appreciate shit because they out here thieving. But hardworking people is hard. Why? Because it's a world full of thieving ass motherfuckers that take from hardworking people. Whether that's a motherfucking Fortune 500 company nigga or a nigga from across the street. It's hard being a good person. It's hard doing the right thing out here. Everybody using people out here. Everybody, I'm telling you, everybody on that. The world is on that. Divines, we ain't on that. That's part of the fucking territory. We gotta do shit the right way. Yes, it's harder. Yes, it's more strenuous. Yes, we're doing a lot more outside shit to help people to make ends meet around this bitch. But guess what? We gotta do it. We gotta be model, c model citizens. We gotta be keep our integrity clean and shit. We gotta be divine at all motherfucking times. And we gotta be the influence that people are out here looking for. Light in the darkness. Final word of this message. Five of swords. Feminine. Just take it back to the feminine. Feminine. Whatever the fuck you was going to the future in your head about, get out your head, four swords, and start focusing. Five of swords. Four swords being in your head. Five of swords is cocking the bow back. But you got to see what the fuck you aiming at before you let your bow go. Know what you aiming at. That's the message. Hope I can be a good use. It's your boy D-Boom. Stay tuned.